So we're getting ready to do air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So what do we have for air signs? They have the Ten of Cups. Two of Cups. And then you have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is like a relationship. This could be a re relationship that someone is already in, or this is a relationship that is coming towards a person. This is like commitment, a solid offer of commitment. Because the Queen of Pentacles, this could be someone wanting to come towards a person with this Two of Cups, partner up with this person, and they want to marry that person. Like they see that their self marrying this person, um, being in this Ten of Cups energy. Then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, whoever the person is, they're, they're seeing this Queen of Pentacles as someone that's very educated, resourceful. This person could be someone that um, works very hard. They have a stable foundation that they have laid out for their self and they're working on long-term success. So it's like somebody wants to come towards you and they want to have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles with you. You could be someone that's very prosperous. Like whatever it is that you're working on, it's prospering. You have the four swords. And then the knight of swords. Wow. So somebody is angry because something have came to a complete end. Um, you could have isolated yourself from this person, just distanced yourself. Um, from whoever this person is and their pissed with this knight of swords whoever this person is could be a gemini or they could be an air sign as well you have the knight of wands and then the two of swords Whoever this person is, they lie about something. Out of anger, out of rage. They got mad because you distanced yourself from them. You isolated yourself, set some type of boundaries with them. And um, they spread it some type of lie on you. With this two of swords. You have the page of wands. And then the emperor. And then the ace of swords. So yeah, somebody could have communicated something to that person or reached out to that person or something like that. But whoever the person is that they lied to, they found out the truth. Like they've gained mental clarity about why this person was so mad and they made up whatever they made up. Like they, they lied. Maybe this person was trying to make it seem like you were someone that was um, very lustful. Like you were out to like try to have sex with someone or you were chasing somebody down or lusting after somebody or something like that. And they communicated this to this person. This could have been this father figure, whoever this emperor is. It could have been an older person or this person is just an emperor. But it's like whatever they said, they found, this person found out the truth. Yeah, you have the Six of Cups. This could be someone who wants to come towards you. Yeah. 
This could have been an old friend or something like that. I don't know why I'm getting this. I was getting that when the Knight of Swords uh, popped out. You could have distanced yourself from a, um, a friend and um, they got mad. It's like they were in anger, in rage or something like that. And they spread some type of lie on you to try to make you look bad because somebody was, you know, wanting to come towards you. Six of Cups. This could be a past life relationship that you have with someone else. This could be this Two of Cups energy. Yeah, somebody was coming towards you because they wanted to offer you love, express their self. This, was, this is a new love relationship that somebody was trying to um, like keep somebody avoiding something. Or they spread it some type of lie because they knew that somebody was wanting to come towards you and offer you new love or something like that. Or this was a relationship coming towards you. You have the death card. And then the five of cups. I'm so done. Yeah, this person is mad because something that came to a complete end. Like you ended a cycle out with that person. This could have been a karmic friend. And this person is ashamed. They're embarrassed. You could have went through a transformation and they're in regret. Like, yeah, this person was, you know, spreading these lies. You had an end of the cycle out or went through some type of major transformation and you're prospering. You definitely moved forward with the chariot being here. And that person is upset. Like, they're mad. You have the moon. Yeah, this person could have secretly, like, did this. Or they thought this would stay hidden or something like that. And then you have the musician. Wow. Seven of Cups. So this person was definitely trying to trick and confuse somebody. They could have been trying to manifest this person that wants to come towards you. I'm so <laughs> This is sad. Like somebody thought that they were going to be able to manifest this person. Um, and this person would not see that they were trying to project their energy onto you. This person could be someone that's very lustful. That person could be always in the, you know, night of wands energy. Having one night stands. They're accustomed to doing stuff without thinking. This is somebody that's very immature. And they thought they were going to be able to manifest this person with, you know, some type of confusion. This is sad. I'm so... <laughs> Yeah, you have friends when you cut the dick. Wow. Yeah, this definitely was like an old karmic friend that was mad. Like, you distance yourself from that person. And you could have been an energy of recovering from something, healing, um, getting enlightened. And that person got mad because you chose to distance yourself. Maybe this person was someone that was very immature. You could have been in an energy where you were standing, you know very ambitious about something so it's like the energies did not match you were focusing on long-term success that person is someone that's very childish very immature so if you're in a high vibrational energy that person was in a low vibrational energy and they thought they were going to be able to manifest um whoever this person is that wants to reunite with you or come back towards you like new love they would try to block off your love life. Between the lines. Yeah, it's like somebody wanted something to be hidden with this confusion. But they didn't expect for someone to read between the lines. Then you have faded meeting. So yeah, this person is definitely coming towards you because this was something that was meant to be. This was destined to happen, destined to take place. This partnership that you're getting ready to be in. Wow. Yeah, you have healing. You were definitely focusing on healing. You were focusing on your progress. You were focusing on improving.
while this person was avoiding that. So this could be why you detach from that person. It's like the energies did not align or match up. You have crossroads. And then single. Then you have intuition. Yeah, it's like you chose to... You chose to, um, as I say, heal. You chose to keep yourself guarded, isolate yourself. It wasn't just from, from a relationship. So you could have isolated yourself from a relationship, into something out, and you were recovering. That person knew, but they got mad when you isolate yourself away from them. This person did not know that you were completing a cycle out. Like going through a total transformation with a death card being here. And it's like that person time was up, whoever this energy is. Yeah, you got very guarded. You were spending a lot of time by yourself and you were just using your intuition, going with your gut feeling about what you needed to do. And you have finances and then unfinished business. And then regret. Wow. So this person is in regret with this finances. As I said, you're someone that um, you're prospering. So you could be very successful right now. It's like you've been working. They're in regret. It's like they feel like they made a mistake. This person wants to apologize to you, but you're guarded. You've distanced yourself from that person. Yeah. Then you have unfinished business here. It's like something is not over. So if they thought that they, you know, would blind this person that you're destined to um, meet up like something was faded. This is your true two of cups. If they felt like that they had done um, blinded that person from the truth and this would stop that person from coming towards you, this would end out something, a new relationship, a potential relationship. This person is coming back towards you. They feel like they have unfinished business with you. Yeah, divine timing is here. Something was supposed to happen during divine timing. And it's like another person is in regret because um, this didn't work. Like the truth still was revealed. Yeah. It was a lie with this mask being here. Like somebody lied. This person had a hidden motive of why they did what they did. And they were trying to cover it up. Um, it's like they know that that person was somebody that was wearing a mask. You have text message. And then change. So this person could be getting ready to communicate with you. They could want to call you or text you. And then you have change here. Soulmate. So yeah, this is definitely like a soul contract that you have with someone. And um, this person see that you're, you're in the energy of growth. You've completed a cycle out. You've made a lot of changes and um, they want to communicate with you. Like this could be a surprise out of nowhere. You have storm warning. And then liquid courage. Yeah, this is going to definitely be a surprise. With this storm warning and liquid courage, like somebody is gaining their confidence, they're being brave. Yeah, because this is a magnetic attraction that you have with that person. And it's like somebody could have knew and they were enraged, like they got mad. And it's like a person just don't get mad and be enraged because something takes place. That person have always been in that energy and it's like they couldn't wait to run in and try to do this or do that or spread some type of lie. 
because they were angry. So it's only a matter of time before you detach from whoever that person is because they're very childish. And it's like they could have been desperate to the point where they, you know, use some type of disguise to communicate with that person. But they mentioned you in the, you know, whatever way they communicated with that person. This is sad. Yeah, whoever this person is, this is somebody that's very childish. They're very immature. They have betrayal. They try to block your blessings. This person does not like the fact that you stand in your own energy. You're a leader. You have Sagittarius. One of these people could be a Sagittarius. Then you have Gemini. You could be a Gemini. That person could be a Gemini. As I said in the beginning of the reading, that person could be an um, air sign as well. So you have to take it where it resonates. Yeah, this is somebody that was definitely desperate. Now they're panicking. I'm so... <laughs> yeah, you have warning. That person could have been warned before they did what they did and they didn't take heed. Um, another person could have been warned. Whoever this person is that wants to come towards you, maybe they were warned about something. Then you have obstacles. And then very intuitive. So yeah, somebody that's definitely, somebody definitely warned somebody about something. Somebody warned. So if this is somebody that you have a past life relationship with, you could have warned that person about some type of obstacle that they were going to be facing or um, some type of betrayal or somebody was trying to bring obstacles to them. Yeah, because you're someone that's very intuitive. You're someone that definitely uses your intuition. Yeah, this is why you're envied. This is why whoever this karmic friend is, they envied you. Because it's like you're a leader. You lead your own life. You're your own person. This is someone who likes to run with the crowd. Like This is like somebody that just runs around, do stuff without thinking. You have sleepless nights. Somebody is stressed out. They can't sleep at night. Whoever this person is, stalker. Yeah, it's like that person is sitting back watching you, spying on you. They're up all night. This person could be in the Nine of Swords. Yeah, as I was thinking this, this person could be, I'm done. This is somebody that's needy and codependent, then you have addiction. So that person could be, you know, dealing with some type of drug habit. And they're up all night. I'm so done. You have Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. Could have been a Capricorn involved. Then you have Balance. Then you have Confidence. Jealous family members. These could be your family members. These are people that are jealous because you're someone that has self-confidence. Or this could be another, you know, group of family members. You have chaos and conflict. They want to have you stuck. So, yeah, this person could have lied. The lie that was told, if they didn't tell this person that you were, you know, they could have told this person that you were someone that was in this night of wands energy. Like you were someone that was like a one night stand or you were out to try to get somebody to chase after you or something like that to have sex with them. That backfired. That was, you know, somebody found out that that was a lie. Like this person intentionally lied and why they lied. Um, another thing, this person could have made it seem like you were on drugs. <laughs> yeah, but it's like they've sat back and watched your growth. Yeah. Yeah, this was definitely a karmic friend. 
this person was a secret hater. And it's like, if once you disconnected from that person, they could not wait to cause some type of deception, some type of betrayal to you, like backstab you. If that person was very needy and codependent to your energy. Yeah, good karma. But that person is watching you receive some type of good karma. You have Scorpio. One of these people could be a Scorpio. Then you have successful. Reevaluate. And then sneaky. So this person, whoever they lied to, they've sat back and reevaluated everything. They realized that person did this, like this person thought that they were going to get away with whatever they did. And now it's like they see you in this energy of success. Like you, you're prospering. You've created some type of success for yourself. They see you as someone that's successful. And this person was somebody that was um, a secret hater the entire time. And that it's like that person could not wait to try to backstab you, betray you, or something like that. This is sad. Now this person is all, you know, up all night in their head because, um, it's like they got exposed. The truth came out. And this person could be going through obstacles in their love life if this person was trying to block your love life out of jealousy or rage, anger, because you, you laid something to rest and disconnected from that person. Y'all were on two different levels, two different pages. Yeah, self-love is here. It's like you were definitely practicing self-love. Um, and this is what, this person did not, like this could be someone that's the total opposite of you. That person is someone that do not love their self. So if you're in this energy practicing self-love and, um, that person, if, if they were some type of way like hindering you, you could have been trying to help that person. And I don't know why I keep getting two different pages. Y'all were on two different pages. It's like that you were in this very ambitious energy. That person was in this Knight of Wands energy. So maybe that person is someone who do, does not truly love their self. You know, they're accustomed to having one night stands. They're trying to figure out why isn't it working for them? Why can't they find anyone? And they seen that you were in this self-love energy healing um, and the things that you were attracting. And they thought that they would be able to block this, you know, whatever, whatever you were manifesting as you were in this energy. You know, knowing what you deserve, choosing yourself, different things like that. It's like you're manifesting unconditional love. Yeah, and it's like you chose to focus on whatever it is that makes you stand out. Something that does not compare to other people, something that's unique. And that person was enraged. Yeah, you're definitely someone that is unconditionally loved. Um, not only by people, but um, the universe. They love you unconditionally. You took out the time to choose you. And as I said, this was just not like, you know, ending a cycle out with a toxic karmic partner. This was a toxic karmic cycle with multiple toxic karmic attachments that you closed out. And you chose to focus on you. Yeah. And somebody got mad. You have retreat, yeah, because it's like you disconnected. You disconnected from the outer world. You could have um, deleted your social media accounts or just, you know, deactivated them. And that person was upset. It's like, but you did what you needed to do to give you more clarity. Yeah, for the path that you're on. As I said, this was two different paths. Two different pages yeah this is something that definitely was just not for you that person was not for you as i said that person was a hidden enemy and they could not wait to cause some type of deception or something like that or spread some type of lie 
And it's like you your you use your gut feeling, your intuition to let go of this person. If this was a karmic friend, this was some, something that was not real. This was not for you. So it's like the universe wants better for you, better friendships, better relationships. Yeah. It's like you definitely use your intuition to protect yourself from something that is just not of your highest good. That person was not of your highest good. Yeah, one more try. So something is definitely not over. Somebody is coming back towards you to give something a second chance. One more try. And it's whoever this this Six of Cups energy is like this past life relationship. This is worth fighting for. So this person could be realizing this. Like the connection that you and them have is worth fighting for. Because like somebody was trying their hardest to try to end something, block something out. Yeah, this is something that is definitely not over. It's like you and that person that found out the truth, they've gained mental clarity. You and that person still have a path to go together, like with each other. So they're definitely coming back towards you for one more try. Yeah, and you're definitely on the right path. Have faith is here. You did the right thing by distancing yourself from whoever this karmic friend is. Um, this is just confirmation that you made the best decision that you needed to for yourself. And have faith that you'll be able to attract the right people that serve your highest good. Yeah, and these are the type of people that they're going to come to you. You're going to be able to interact with those type of people instead of, you know, you know this type of energy. You're not going to be able to attract these karmic type of energies. 